Look, I know we're grasping at straws during a seven game losing streak. Rory is going for a series sweep against the St. Louis. The Cardinals are having a tough time, you might say. I knew those would come in handy. Didn't hear much of him last year. We begin at the very beginning of the game. And we are underway with a called strike. Already a bit of uh, feistiness from the Cardinal dugout. Alan Porter, the crew chief, screaming into their dugout. Yeah, they've got to be frustrated. Yeah. Cardinals complain this shouldn't be called a strike because the catcher dropped the ball, but we call to the computer now, and we have to call it a strike because that well was a strike. That's why you heard the... No because so what? That's a strike. Bench jockeying on the first pitch of the game. Off on as he draws a four pitch walk. That's a Into the second, runner on first. Second base could be a double play. They get one and not in time. Terrain. Umpire Sean Barber calls the runner safe. St. Louis challenges. Put on the headset. Yeah, he looked out from way, even way up here. And thus replay quickly overturns the call. The call on the field is overturned. The runner is out. St. Louis will retain their challenge. Very next half inning, similar situation. It's a walk and. That's grounded toward third. Nice pick. Second base one on to first and a double. Point. Once again, Sean Barber's call is going to get challenged by St. Louis, although this time they appear a little frustrated with him. Evan Go, Sean. That's bench coach Daniel Del Scalzo, who used to play in the organization. And what's a game planning coach? Oh. Anywho, this call is also going to get overturned, so that's two overturns for Barber in two innings, two half innings at that, and St. Louis doesn't like that. Always frustrated with everything. Runner is safe. St. Louis will retain their challenge. Del Scalzo continuing to yell out because even though the team retains the challenge on an overturned call, all it takes is for evidence to slide into a call stands territory for them to lose the challenge. So they're yelling out at Sean Barber, hey, if you're going to mess up, mess up the other way. Porter looks over to see what the ever intensifying commotion is about. Marmol responds, don't even look in here and look over there. The unchecked bench coach continues to say everyone's bad, so he gets thrown out. And we're going to get one of the coaches run. Salvo's gonna go too. And while this is happening, my favorite part, Barber walks away. Marmol's getting in the face of Alan Porter. Al Alan Porter and Sean Barber are good umpires. Um, that had more to do with getting something going. Um, those guys do a nice job. So that's what he said. You guys are great umpires. You do a good job, especially Sean. Great call on that strike in the first inning. Their, their job is tough. Um, but at times, you just gotta... A little skid, get something going, but no, I've got nothing against that group. It's very unprofessional, the umpire right there. Unprofessional, 100% be yelling back at the, at the manager. Interesting point, Jim. Let's listen to the counterpoint. Now, that's a part of the game from an entertainment standpoint I think I really miss. And that can swing the pendulum of momentum or emotion and, and spark a club, and it's something we don't see all that often in the game. Interesting counterpoint. Rebuttal? It's because they're taking all of the emotion out of the game with all the replays, but you're right. I love the fact that you're... No, Jim, you're not supposed to jump to the other side. The main point, of course, you can't have it both ways. And this is a boiling point from strike zone to calls to seven straight losses. Well, the frustration has got to be mounting at a fever pitch for St. Louis. And...